Oz, what an incredible couple. Oh, Becky. Bye bye. <laughs>
This is cool. All right, I guess we'll figure it out. What we got here? What are we? What are we, what are we serving here? <laughs> what am I on? Uh, tell me here. What do we got? This is amazing. Uh huh. And onions there with our signature walnut you see this? Okay. Then we've got the uh, oh hot my. dog with the potato pancake and shrimp <laughs> salad inside of there. Oh my and goodness! Then we've got your crispy potatoes with marjoram cream. This is incredible. We're from Kansas, so we wanted <laughs> to hit something different. We definitely hit something different, didn't we? Uh, salt and pepper would be great. Yeah. Becky, this looks amazing, doesn't it? Holy cow! <laughs> awesome. Well, that was a delicious lunch, wasn't it? You know, I wanted to, we were hoping to find something unique, but I didn't even know what we were <laughs> looking no for. I had idea that that's what we were going to end up. I mean, I didn't really know, like, kind of what was, like, like food to the cool, area. A cool hotel, old hotel or something. So yeah, like, that'd not? be good. A little bit, we know we were going to be walking into some Norwegian restaurant. Yeah. That was really good. Really good. I'll have the lingonberry pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> lingonberry jelly on her toast. That was, uh, it was really good. Well, we filled up, um... We stopped at a Shell station because before it gave us a Shell gift card for fuel. For fuel, I was like, "New turkey, I'm gonna get you back." I can't believe you did that. Well, fancy dinner for a fancy car, huh? <laughs> There's not much out here, and we're trying to get to Salt Lake City. We are in Boise. We could stop yeah, here, it's a big town. but it's but it's early. It's only eight o'clock, and we're normally going to bed at midnight anyway. So. We're just gonna grab a quick taco and keep on rolling. Good morning, everybody. Well, we didn't make it to Salt Lake City. You were kind of like, eh, you know, let's just not get in too late. Right, but so now we're kind of at the dilemma. You know, we made it what, Burley? Burley what? Where are Idaho. We? Idaho, we're Burley, Idaho. Idaho. But we're like, what, a couple, two, two and a half hours from Salt Lake? Yeah, Something so. like that. But, uh, so we just jumped up out of bed. We didn't set any alarm or anything. But, uh, so unshaven eyes, puffy. <laughs> but, uh, but the thing is, live, if we leave right now, you know, we can still get home by about one. So we're still, still on that edge of can we make it? Can right. we make it? Yeah. Um, so we just jumped up and, uh, we're gonna, I guess, just grab some McDonald's or something, yeah. you know, and hit the road yeah. and, uh, and see how far we can get. Yeah. But here's what, here's what I can't believe. Check this out. Look at the car. I mean, we've been hundreds of miles, right? And uh, through fog and everything. And look at this thing. It, it, came off it looks like it just came out of detail. I can't, you know, it's black. It wants to be. I thought it would be just, I thought it would be wrecked by now, you know? I know we went up that mountain pass and it had like what? We could see like a hundred feet in front of us, you know? But we didn't give any, you know, we didn't uh, give everybody a little peek at this guy. But check this out. Look at that interior. Isn't that just beautiful? Got the little sheep skins on it. You know, got the sheep skins on it. Which, I kind of like sitting on the leather personally. But look at that. So I may pull my sheep skin off. But uh, just look at this beautiful car. <laughs> so we're debating. I always like my car stock. And, uh, um, you know, so like the last one I got in, you know, I put stock wheels back on it it had wheels kind of like this on it you know because these are kind of like this is what people did back in the day to make it look newer but now that you know we're past that kind of like the original look so i'm kind of torn do we leave the wheels or do we change them what do you guys think what are you doing ice <laughs> what was that what was what <laughs> what were this, this something you did with your hand i don't know what it was <laughs> I don't know. You might not make it to home. Are we getting a little punchy? Oh, yes. I'd like to know what that was that you just did. Oh, I turned the camera on and I, I was like, I'm recording with you knowing it. But you see, I can't get away with anything. Yeah, well, I got this eyes. Is, well, this yeah, it, it, 33, 32, 32, years of marriage right here. Huh? <laughs> On display. On display. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's looking right now. What are you looking for? Well, just, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we are technically going into Denver and then. Are we? Down. Well, from what I'm getting 
over here, she's frantically looking on the phone for food and hotels. So I'm guessing that we're stopping. Well, we uh, decided to stay in Denver. And one interesting thing is we uh, actually, we got a uh, contact uh, for two cars to go look at uh, on in route home in right. actually in Newton, Kansas. We had a customer call and uh, they've got two cars from their father-in-law, yep. uh, O2 Corvette with 20,000 miles on it and a O2 uh, Mercury Grand Marquis with 30,000 miles on it. So yeah. we brought extra tags because we're always looking. Always. And so we're staying over in Denver mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to actually see maybe if there's something here in Denver, um, see what's yeah, going on. Awesome. So. So we spent, literally, we went and got fuel, and we spent like 45 minutes in the parking lot looking at hotels and food. And we narrowed it down to two Italian places. And uh, <laughs> five, five stars. Five stars. Yeah, five stars. There's yeah. two places. Amazing food. Amazing yeah, items. and the reviews. So it's always tricky, but. Because um, you don't know where you're going. Exactly. We don't know where we're going, but um, check this out. We are in a little mini strip mall, kind of down here in a questionable area but uh well we got the mercedes parks here <laughs> kind of out of the way as much as possible and uh we're gonna go uh, i guess we're here so we're committed let's go try pomodoro pizza and pasta oh yeah let's go so we're in the restaurant actually this place looks awesome it just looks like uh, a homemade place hey there I bet it's going to be amazing. It's amazing food here. Is it amazing? Well, Becky, we got stuffed baked clams and Caesar salad. Oh my goodness. This is looking pretty good. Very good. Oh man. It's funny. John, this is for you. And we'll show you the entrees too. But I got a friend of mine who watches the YouTube videos. He's like, you tell me where you eat, but you never show the food. <laughs> so John, this is for you. Okay, Becky. They just set our food down. Yeah. Um, Holy cow, look at this. I got the, the stork pork chop. Oh my goodness. And you got the gnocchi. The gnocchi with ricotta and the meat sauce. And then garlic bread knots. But I can't even, I can't even get all of this in. Oh my gosh, we're gonna die. Well, I've got Becky taking the turn, her turn at the wheel. <laughs> because uh, I'm actually in the process of uh, uploading a video. <laughs> so we're doing a video of doing a video. Nice. So it's uploading right now. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. And then uh, go to Canva, do a thumbnail, do my descriptions and do all that stuff. So I uh, got a wiz um, wizard video coming up of a car that I sold him and it's like number 21, 22, something like that. It's crazy. So, uh, yeah, how, how many cars you sold? Yeah, how many yeah. cars you sold the wizard? Yeah, so, we we're gonna hit the road, and Becky's driving, and I'm working on a video. Well, so we're rolling down the road, and great weather. Great weather. Yeah, I, I thought it, so far, really. it has been fantastic, and uh, far, right, and uh, I guess we haven't looked, I haven't looked at the forecast at home yet. No, we're gonna run into some rain, probably. Nah, who cares? Yeah. No, it's all good. But what's what's fun though is we are on our way, and we actually have another car adventure on the way. We are stopping, and it's on our way, literally home, and not even that far from home. But you know, the hometown of the car wizard, Newton, Kansas. We've got two cars uh, to go uh, look at on the way home. I talked to this gentleman yesterday, and uh, <laughs> I talked to this gentleman yesterday and his uh, father-in-law had passed away and uh, they're uh, looking to get rid of an 0201 Chevrolet Corvette and an 02 Mercury Grand Marquis. Uh, the vet's got only like 20,000 miles on it. Mercury's got like 30,000 miles on it. So nice. two exceptionally just, you know, we, we've had many of the, all of those cars. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we may be, uh, Splitting up here, cars. yeah, but it, we'll be almost all the way home by then. But uh, we're gonna go look at a couple of uh, more cars. That's why we brought extra D tags. Cars always do. Don't leave home without it. Oh three, twenty year old tires. <laughs> you didn't even look before we left. Uh, 
I believe those tires are from 2003. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see what we got back here. I don't know how old these are. These. Oh boy. These are much older. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, okay. I, yeah. Um, oops, I guess I, I should have uh, paid a little more attention to the tires. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna make it, gonna make it. rebalancing these tires <laughs> we will be replacing these tires but then be wearing some as we speak on this drive. right yeah so it's oh boy yeah we've been doing at times 90 miles an hour you know when it's 80 mile an hour i think we were doing like well, just everybody else is going that yeah speed. we're doing you know just with the, with the flow of traffic doing 85 90 miles an hour i got her slowed down a little bit more now but, uh, you know, I don't even think we checked the spare. We're not doing you very well. You just said, well. here, shut up and take my money and well, let's pretty go. pretty much, yeah. I mean, you did. You well, didn't really yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, there was, I mean, we were buying the car. Well, I know, I know, you know, but just, we're going 1,800 miles. You might want to check a few things, like the tires and the spare. Probably. Oil, I mean, just a few. Well, I checked the oil. Okay. I mean, it's full. It's, That's good. You know, but, I mean, and then it rode good. I'm like, That's so funny. That's why we were videoing. Our phone rang. Yeah. You know, and I always got to catch the phone. You know, we got customers calling all the time. Yep. But uh, what's the chances? It was actually uh, Brad, the gentleman that bought the white Euro 500, was just oh, calling yeah. in to tell us he was driving the car down the road, and he absolutely loves it. The more he drives it, the better it gets. And uh, and he just called to uh, just give Check us an update. Check on us and see yeah. how our trip was going. Hey, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> That was, I mean, talk about uh, crazy timing. Yeah. We were just sitting there in our 126, in our 126 driving across country. But uh, I think his is riding a little better than ours right now. Probably just a smidgen. <laughs> well, hey, it's only going to get nicer. It's, yeah, it's only going to get from here. All right, well. Thanks for checking in, Brad. Yeah, I hope, uh, I hope. Uh, All right, let's just not think about it. I and know. I'm sure we'll be fine. We've got how many, how many hundreds of miles we came? So at our next uh, gas stop, we better check pressures, and we better check and the it's spare. Very desolate out here is the I only know. other thing I don't yeah. like. It's, uh, it, there is not a convenience store. Remind, remind me to check the spare. Remind me to check the spare too. Okay. It's, it's probably the original. Give it's us probably tools, original. Tools it isn't gonna matter. <laughs> then it's gonna help us with a flat tire and no spare. <laughs> Wish us luck, everybody. Yeah. Wish us luck. Yes, well, the good news is all the tires have 35 in them. You know, uh, the bad that news is, is the, the spare has no air. <laughs> so we need to find some uh, air. Okay, yeah. You know, normally an old tire like this, I might pump them up to like 40. But with it starting to rain and everything and it's being pretty cool out, I think 35 will be okay. But we better get some air. Like now. Like now. What are you doing, Bobo? Oh, <laughs> putting some 
Air in the tire and the so spare. So you decided to drive all the way to almost home and then check the spare? Yeah, why not? Come on, let's go. Tire pressure six pounds. Look at the tire. Look at that. No, it's nice. It it's zero on the pounds. You see the gauge? Yeah. Nine. Look at this. This is an original spare here. From 1984. Uh, well, this wheel is a the 86 up wheel, so yeah, right. I mean, the, well, because they changed the wheels, it would have been a 14 inch, right? right. So they put this in so the tire size matched. Oh, so they upgraded when they did the wheels. They went ahead and put in a more later spare. That was smart. But they did that. Oh, we're up I mean, to 17. They did that back in uh, 1985. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, we have some air now. I'm soaking wet. <laughs> it's raining, but so I put 40 in the spare, obviously, and then the thing was still running, so I was like, I might as well get my money's worth out of it. So I started to air the other two sides up, and I only got one side done, so I have 40 pounds in the left side and 35 pounds in the right side. So I should have started with both rears, but oh uh, well. So it's probably gonna pull to the right a little bit. <laughs> but we got air. We got a spare. That's so, all we can ask for. Do we have tools? You apparently don't know for sure, so I guess it's just a wing and a prayer. That's our normal. Uh, uh, so, well, not necessarily. Normal. But I think we're good. I think we're how good. far from home? We've made it how many uh, miles? We're two. With no, no issues. Yeah, we're what? Two and a half hours from home? Ish. Pulled into Newton. It's a little rainy, but we're gonna go ahead and check out this uh, Mercury. And I guess the Corvette I just talked to him is in Topeka, hmm. so we'll have to go up to Topeka for the Corvette. But we're gonna check out the Mercury right now. Yep. So uh, trip's not over yet. Nope, not yet. Still at it. <laughs> oh. How you doing, Bob Gummies? Right, Brent. Brent, my wife Becky. Hi. <laughs> well, here. Well, you did send me some nice pictures in the in the daylight, so I was able to see those. But yeah. I mean, from the from the looks of the pictures, I mean, this looks to be a pretty uh, immaculate example. Yeah, I can point out flaws, but I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what it looked like. Uh, you a flashlight, if you want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Sure. <laughs> See, we'll chase cars any any time of the day, night, <laughs> any condition, rain or shine, sun or dark. Yeah, Why it not? smells. It smells brand new too. Yeah, you know I, I'm not a Ford person, so I yeah. really I'm learning. With yeah. This car. Are those leather seats? Yes. You know? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's leather <laughs> on this one. This is the LS. Um, I'm not sure they made an Ultima, and uh, they made a, you know a few different versions. Uh, this I looked it up on Carfax, and it's the LS version. <laughs> And then, like I said, I think the ultimate, it sounds like that would be the highest one. Right, it sure does. Right. But still, though, this has got a lot of the nice stuff. Yeah, very nice. You can tell it's been, because mm -hmm. it looked like, did your father-in-law buy it new? Yes. Yeah, that's kind of, because it said it showed that it was a one owner. Yeah. 34,000 miles. And, you know, I mean, <laughs> the ride of these things, I mean, it's just old technology, right? Yeah. Solid rear axle, you know, you're just going to. Oh, the rain's going to come here. Road. But you know, there's something to be said for that, though. Well, it's reliable. It's reliable. It's, yep. it's, it's not going to break the bank to maintain. Oh, I know. And I mean, and geez, I mean, this the, they call this, I think, the, is this the Panther platform? The, uh, I think so, yeah. yeah, and I mean, think of the cop cars, taxis. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about oh, how many. Reviews. Yeah, mm -hmm. think about how many billions of miles, like literally probably billions of miles when you add up all the cars. Think of that. The, uh, Actually, it's probably my favorite part of the car is the wheels. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. Kind of that BBS looking wheel, isn't it? I just checked our tires at our last gas stop. You thought I would check that sooner? And <laughs> the front ones are from 03. <laughs> and, and, and the funny thing is, is the rear ones are older. <laughs> well, all I can say is it could be worse. Yeah. It could be, yeah. not well, much, but it could be. And then we stopped. Like, I saw that in the place that we stopped for gas didn't have air. I'm like, I said, next time we stop back, you remind me, we got to check the air. And, and the, the gentleman got it from him, and you could tell he had done all the fluids and air pressure and everything. 
but the spare was dead flat. <laughs> Ours been Kansas, so I'm sure there's no rust. I don't think it was. No. I don't think it was driven. And so. <laughs> nope. Well, we just hardly even get, get much any. anymore. No. I mean, we really live in a good climate for cars. Yeah. You know, for the most part, yeah, except the ice. We get yeah. yeah. But I mean, they don't hit hammer our roads with all kinds of junk. You, know? you want me to pop the hood? Uh, yeah, go ahead and pop the hood and fire this bad boy up. That color's a nice, pretty luxury oh, color. Key too. What's that? You need a key? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, baby. Yeah, the color's pretty. Yeah, it's a kind of a taupish. Mm -hmm. Kind of a sand beige. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Or this ring cuts loose. There it is, 4.6. Looks like a really, I mean, this is just a good, honest survivor, you know. And like I said, the car pack showed one owner, no accidents. And the only thing that's funny is in the ring, the one thing you can't ever see is hail. <laughs> so, so you gotta watch out. I've, I've been at auction before. And uh, I bought a car, either the clear coat was gone, and it looked beautiful, or yes. it had hail and you couldn't see it, you know? I couldn't see Oh, I, we yeah. bought a red, uh, yep. what was that car? It looked it was just like, beautiful oh, in the rain. It was a Chrysler Sebring or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, man, that, I bought this beautiful bright red Sebring at the auction today. And I got it super cheap, and the next day I walked out and looked at the car, and I went, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> that truck is my car, too. Oh yeah? And actually it's fun to see that because the paint's horrible. That's when you want to sell them is when it's raining. <laughs> yeah, this thing just brand new in here. Mm. Let me know what that say. Grand Marquis LS. Oh, presidential? No, precision track. Oh, okay. Precision oh, track. Because of seat belts. Yep. Yeah, this car is literally yeah. brand new. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> I love the gauges. What? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love what is, that. What is that gauge? It says it's an altimeter and barometer. Oh. You live in Kansas. That's pretty <laughs> It changes so much, right? <laughs> That is hilarious. <laughs> I've got an old car, uh, a 79 Capri that I have, and uh, and it was um, it was uh, a one owner, and you could tell that whoever bought it was adult bought back in in, in 79, uh -huh. and uh, and it has right here a uh, a compass, an old floaty yeah. compass, oh, yeah. and I go, look, this car even has GPS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it come with a map. Too? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we laugh though. It's like, what would we do without our, I don't know how I would get around without my phone. You know, I actually had an instance one time where I, I was in trouble. Like, I think the, the cellular network was down or something. I was trying to navigate somewhere and I was in trouble. In trouble, like, like yeah, lost. Yeah, home. lost and no way to get home. <laughs> well, this is definitely nice. Let's check out the trunk. <laughs> yeah, usually these cars, we call them uh, old folks rubs, you know. They usually get the corners of them, pulling them into the garage. Especially this is so big. Yeah, well, yeah. that's the other thing, too. Yeah, they're big and hard to navigate. And then the only other thing is it has a, a uh, in trunk CD player. Yeah, I see that little changer. And mm -hmm. the Magazines. cartridge is the gone. Cartridge is gone. But yeah. I, I think yeah. we've located it. Oh, okay. So I would get it to you. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, hey, the, wait a minute. Has it got, got air? air. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good sign, Becky. Well, that's a very good well, sign. Any guy that would have an altimeter, I think, would. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good hey, spare. I would agree. Blades. I would agree. Yeah, oh, yeah awesome. you, get, you get wiper blades, free <laughs> yeah. filters, and a walking gasket. And this is this is added. This is added oh, on. Oh my! Yeah. yeah. These are added. Added lights, new bulbs or batteries. New batteries. Six, six one twelve. <laughs> That's awesome. Where's the uh, Where's the ticker tape? Remember the old. <laughs> yeah. To make the little labels. The labels. Yeah. The little label, uh, label maker. maker yeah. I remember those. You're guilty. I'm guilty. Yeah. yeah it's not a bad those. thing. Oh, well, it, uh, like I said, I mean, I pretty much, you sent me some pictures and yeah. described it to me. So it's you pretty much drive it? as described. No, it, it, it looks, I'm sure it drives perfect. I'm sure it drives perfect.
Yeah. No, nope, she's it. <laughs> yes. Almost every one of the, even the low mile ones that come to the auction, yeah. they always have scuffs. So your father-in-law did really well. <laughs> he did really, I'm impressed. He did really well. I can add some if you want. Yeah. <laughs> if you're disappointed. Yeah, 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 right. All right. Trooper, was he a high patrol? No, just very patriotic. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, good for us. Good for us, yeah. Well, that is nice. I forget if he has soft clothes or not. I don't think so. No, just standard, yeah. which is good. It's just yeah. less to go wrong. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> less to go wrong. Well, she looks great. Yeah, I had it all pretty for you in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> well, scary. that's good. We need the rain, so hopefully that brought the rain. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Well, Becky, Brent. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I guess thank, we have thank the deal you, on the car. Thank you. And thank you. I guess, Becky, would you like the honors of driving this beautiful I think Mercury I back? definitely will. I want I mean, a cruise and comfort and style here. I, I hate to say it, but actually this car is more comfortable and it probably rides be, better yes. than a Mercedes. <laughs> yeah. It, it does you ride know? nice, yeah. Because those old cars are really cool, but they got the old horsehair pad seats and yep. everything. Right. And these are just cushy. So. Cushy ride, yep. Well, I guess, uh, I mean, we can finish with a fun uh, 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 bonus purchase here bonus. of our trip. Yep. So this will be great. And then I guess we'll just, we'll assume we're in Newton. So we'll assume that we're going to make it back from here, right? We're going to assume that there's no problems. So, but, you know, stay tuned. I guess if we're both broke down on the side of the road in the rain, we'll just make another video out of it, <laughs> yep, right? Yep, exactly give me a call. right. Give, give me a call. call. <laughs> Frank, it's an absolute pleasure. For, for, you get one free towing. One free towing. <laughs> <laughs> With every car purchase. <laughs> well, hey, everybody. Have a great day and happy motoring. Thanks for following.